Hi, princes and princesses. Welcome to another episode of Melanie Slice Thinner. I'm Melanie, and I'm here with my best friend. Hi. And we're over at her house. We're going to be watching the Tennessee Alabama game. Come on, she's a Vols fan. <laughs> I'm a Bama fan. Roll Tide. So it's like. <laughs> house divided but we love each other so natalie actually has a really cool low carb high protein high fat recipe she's going to share with us for buffalo chicken dip so i'm going to turn this over to you natalie hold on okay i'm going to try and turn this around hold on and we're going to use shredded cheese you can get any kind you want cheddar i got the mexican style because it's a nice little blend you're also going to use, that's two cups of cheese. I gotta look at my recipe here. Uh, a half a cup of your buffalo wing sauce. I like to use Frank's, I think it's the best. Mm -hmm. And so it calls for two cups of chicken. I like canned chicken because it's going down in the oven and, and it's a dip. So this works just as well. So what you got canned chicken breast. Yeah. Alrighty. But you can also bake up a, a chicken breast. It's fine too, it won't hurt anything. Could and you also, use uh, like a rotisserie that you tore up? Sure, any kind of chicken. Okay. As long as you have uh, two cups of it. All right. And uh, and a bar of cream cheese. Just regular cream cheese. Just regular cream cheese. All right. So all you have to do, very very technical, very complicated, is measure it out. Okay. Dump it in a bowl. Okay. And that's it. And then, well, that's not. We gotta cook it. <laughs> Let's watch the prep here. Julia Child. <laughs> First you take <laughs> the, the gourmet canned chicken. <laughs> and ever so slightly drain the liquid. Hot sauce. It's hot sauce. Yummo. I think this is really a sin. Not to have some kind of buffalo chicken wings or whatever of sorts. Not having it on game day. It's just because this is the South, y'all, and there's there's like a few rules to Southern food. It has to have cheese. It has to have cheese. It has to have some sort of sauce like gravy. Yep. And it has to be hot. Yep. Or real real sweet. Yeah, so hot, hot or sweet. That's how we. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. <laughs> So she's got the bowl here with some chicken in it. Yeah, and this the canned chicken may sound odd to some folks, but it's just like you know tuna. I use it, and I'll make like chicken salad with the with the canned chicken. So it's it's yummo, fantastic. Yeah, it's nice and tender, but it's it is bland, so which makes it a good uh, uh, a good way to. Use some of your seasonings you've always wanted to try out. So. And if you're a post-op, you could start eating this when you're eating solids. I'd probably wait till about a month, at least a month out post-op. But this is nice and soft. And uh, you could eat this if you want to dip something in it. You could dip in cheese crisps or you could dip in pork rinds, which are zero carb. Or you could just dig a spoon in and have at it eat it straight. Roll oh, around yeah. in it, do what you want to do. Yeah, there's... Or a, a lettuce wrap would be good. Oh, yeah. If you can handle lettuce, that'd be a good little something, something for you to do. But you could also dip celery in it oh, or yeah. put, oh. ooh, like a low carb tortilla or something. Mm -hmm. That would be good, I bet. But yeah, just, just eating it out of the bowl, or not out of the bowl, but out of the pan would be, would be fine. So. The canned chicken, you gotta have to stir it a little bit and break it up because you want, you know, you don't want big chunks you, in it. You really don't. You want you want to make sure that the hot sauce and you know it gets coated very well. So just take a just, just using a fork, just shred it up a little bit. That's a good thing about canned chicken is it shreds very easily. So I'm gonna get see she's got it cut cut up pretty good. Uh, actual one cup measuring cup? Yes, one cup. All right. And uh, she ain't looking like. So, half a cup of buffalo sauce. You can eyeball this too. I mean, it's not 
it's not gonna hurt anything. But so this is a half a cup of half buffalo a... wing sauce. Yeah. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball a little bit. If it gets a little more in there, I'm not gonna tell. If you don't mind, I want to taste and see how hot this is straight. Sure. It's got a little taste here. It's not crazy hot. It's not like she was putting like straight Tabasco in it. It's got some heat, but it's not like deadly. That's good. No, it's pretty mild. Let's see. It says on here if it's a mild. It didn't say, but yeah, you know. That's good. It's, it's got, got a, a little flavor. bite. It's, it's got, it, you know, it does have that vinegar smell to it. So, mm -hmm. if you're not much of a vinegar fan, then so she's pouring her it down. wing sauce into the chicken and she's mixing it up good. Mix, mix, mix. So easy. I'm gonna get some more of that sauce out of there. Yumbo. And now she's got the creme cheese. Now you didn't need to like uh, melt it or mm -mm. just straight in there. Straight in there. Sorry, I'm jerking this video all around. I can't hold things very well. <laughs> I don't want to have a tripod. <laughs> well, you know. Don't call me, you know, Steven Spielberg or anything. <laughs> well, there goes your, your, <laughs> my, your Oscar. My Academy Award. Yeah. I must apologize. <laughs> I lost it to J.J. Abrams, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm kind of cutting it just to make it easier to, to blend. Okay. Of course, you can set it out, you know, a little bit ahead of time, and it, it makes it a little bit easier to handle, but this is, she's taking the whole block of it, y'all, yeah. and cutting it up in here. The entire block. And I recommend, guys, don't use, like, the fat-free or the low-fat kind. Use all the way regular, standard cream cheese, okay? Yeah, yeah this is the, the full-blown thing. Because again, this is the south, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you don't have to use a name brand high quality cream cheese. I, I think cream cheese, like cases, they all taste the same. Yeah. So if you use your regular, it won't hurt anything. I do, however, suggest using the Frank's Buffalo sauce because. Not all buffalo sauce is the same, so. All right. So there you go. Okay, so she's got her cream cheese chunked up and put in the bowl on top of the chicken. And that mess a little bit here. Looking good. Looking real good. <clears throat> yeah, you're working with a lot of flavor. Not so many carbs. Which is fabulous. <laughs> Total macros on this, guys. Um, protein's going to be good. Let me see on the chicken. Per serving, the chicken has got... 1.5 grams of fat, zero carbs, 12 grams of protein. Uh, the sauce is going to be a freebie. There is like three carbs. Let's see, look at the cream cheese real quick. And the cream cheese per serving is going to be nine grams of fat, two grams of carbs, two grams of protein. So we're up to 14 grams on the protein. And on the cheddar is going to be nine grams of fat, one carb, another six on the protein so we've got like 18 20 like grams of protein already per serving on this carbs is a total of a whopping three grams of carbs and your fat is good so this is going to be a really fantastic recipe especially for you guys on keto uh also my DSers, you guys if you're a DSer, you need to be seriously eating this stuff if you don't i'm gonna come get you <laughs> so she's got the cream cheese stirred up really good into the chicken along with the wing sauce and I think she's gonna add some cheddar.
shredded cheddar? Yeah. This is a Mexican style blend. Yeah. Now, does it matter? Does it need to be finely shredded or any it kind of matter. shredded? It, it doesn't matter? Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. It is very, uh, kind of forgiving. Very forgiving. And you're putting in one cup, two yeah, cups? Yeah, yeah. And I'm just, I'm, one cup, I'm just, you know, I'm eyeballing. Okay. So, it's good already. Yeah. So there you go, about, about a cup. Okay. Get that incorporated. That looks really, really good. No, it smells like a wing, doesn't it? It does. It just smells like some some, some wings, and you don't have to deal with the, the skin or the tendons or the bones or anything. You just got it all in one shebang. So I'm wondering if you wanted to go really over the top, could you maybe stir in some blue cheese crumbles, or do you think it would melt very well? I would probably use the blue cheese as a garnish. Okay, yeah, that'd probably be a better yeah. idea. So, I, it wouldn't hurt anything, I don't think, but it may get lost. Okay. So, yeah, you could garnish it with blue cheese or, you know, take some scallions and chop them up and garnish Ooh, it. Ooh, yeah, that would be good. So, that would be really good. Guys, I'm having a fight from just jumping right in right now. Okay. Because <laughs> technically you could. I mean, it's all cooked stuff. And plus, you know, Natalie's my girl here, so she probably would not mind me just digging right in because she knows how I roll. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she just saw me earlier eating some pork rinds dipped in uh, guacamole. guacamole. I was it tearing it up too. And, and bacon. I had bacon and I was dipping it in guacamole. She's probably going, Lord Jesus, what are you doing? No. No judgment. <laughs> no judgment. See, this is why she's my girl. Yeah. <laughs> so, again, we're in the South, so a cast iron. Oh, I love it. so essential. I love it. So, you are going to, this just, is what you're going to put this stuff in? Okay. Yeah, yeah this one with bacon. in. And, I mean, it's a seasoned pan, so it's probably not going to stick, but just for safety's sake, just do a little, a little squirt of your, uh, this granola oil, uh, spray. So, no carbs. You're, you're good on that. Sounds good. So, I've preheated the oven to 350. Alrighty, we're at 350. And you're just going to take, take your mixture and just plop it in. Yes, that is a culinary term. Plop. <laughs> I love it. Flop away. So this is going to get all melty. melty and bubbly and gooey good. Gooey good. Say, so, y'all, I want to roll around in this now so when it's done, I probably will roll around in it. <laughs> <laughs> and if you see some white streaks, I mean, it's all going to melt down and blend. It looks pretty well incorporated to me, really. Yeah, it's, it's not it that hard good. at all to, to mess with. This looks really good. I'm excited. That's going to be good stuff. I'll smooth it out a little bit. This is what y'all call SEC tailgate food, okay? Amen. Amen. So, I don't so, know. We've got... BSG Brit Brat's gonna be coming to town and I get to see her sometimes. She's another of our weight loss surgery YouTubers and need to get together with some of my other girls and if y'all come in Tennessee, holler, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so she we're gonna bake this at 350. How long is this gonna bake for, Natalie? I'm gonna I'm gonna kinda eyeball it. Um because I've never put it in a cast iron. I would say start it off at 15 minutes and check it. Okay. really what you want to do is just melt it and get it nice and, and bubbly. Yeah, because so, the chicken's already cooked. Yeah, so yeah, everything's cooked, so you're just basically warming it up. Okay, that sounds and good. at the very end, I'm going to put in the other cup of cheese, because remember I said two cups of cheese. Oh, yeah. So, I want a nice little top layer, okay. so to speak. I want it nice and melty. If I put it on now, it's probably going to brown up and not be all that great. Yeah, so. be crunchy or something. Yeah. Here it goes into the oven, and we'll see y'all when it's done. All 
right, folks. Let's see what we got. This is dip top. This is dip top. Oh, and it's orange, like the big orange. <laughs> Gonna win. I haven't seen crimson buffalo chicken, but we'll work on that. <laughs> <laughs> that so, looks good. What we're gonna do next? She's got meatballs over there, y'all. Let's take another cup or so. Shiz. I wish this was smell a vision because this smells so good. I know. Try to you know scratch your phone and see if the smell comes out. No, <laughs> Yummy. don't do it. <laughs> Ooh, that looks good. You can hear you it can bubbling hear too. You can hear it bubbling. So, let's do about a, about a cup. Stick it back in your oven for a couple of minutes. So it gets nice and melted. Yummy. See you in a few. So here's the final on the uh, the dip, guys. Look, you see the it's got a little bit of crusty around the edge, and it's bubbling, and it looks so good. So we're gonna tear into this in a little bit because we got our adult beverage, huh? And our celery, our dippers. Thank you, Miss Natalie, for sharing your awesome recipe with us and your awesome friendship well, and the ball game. And we just wah, love Miss Natalie. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure. Roll Tide. <laughs>